The Buffalo River, located in western New York, flows through Buffalo and into Lake Erie. The river played an important role in the development of the city of Buffalo. However, many decades of industrial and municipal use led to the accumulation of contaminants in river sediment. The Buffalo River Restoration Partnership, which includes the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency, the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers, the New York State Department of Environmental Conservation, Honeywell, and the Buffalo Niagara Riverkeeper, has been collaborating on plans to clean up the Buffalo River, restore the river's ecology, and promote economic development around this urban natural resource. The partnership collaborated on the cleanup plan for the river, released in the fall of 2010. This plan represents a significant milestone in the restoration of the Buffalo River. The Buffalo River study area includes the lower six miles of the river and the city ship canal. Careful analysis of the river's sediment led to the identification of areas that require attention. The Restoration Partnership developed the remedy identified by the green areas that are targeted for dredging and the orange area at the head of the city ship canal targeted for capping. This is how dredging will likely be done. Sediment will be removed using a clamshell dredge. Here is a cross-section of a targeted dredge area. The dredging process involves two phases of sediment removal. In this example, sediment contaminants are represented by the darker sediment in the river cross-section. The lighter, more deeply buried sediment is less contaminated, or not contaminated at all. During Phase 1, the Army Corps of Engineers will both improve commercial navigation and remove contaminated sediment within the boundaries of the navigation channel as part of the Great Lakes Restoration Initiative. During the dredging, it is expected that some sediment may drop out of the clamshell and there could be a surface layer of remaining sediment. Following Phase 1, sediment from the side slopes may slide back into the navigation channel. This sediment will be captured during Phase 2 dredging operations. During Phase 2, contaminated sediment will be removed as part of the Great Lakes Legacy Act remediation project, led by the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency, with support from the Buffalo River Restoration Partnership. In areas requiring attention, the remaining sediment from the Phase 1 dredging will be removed, as well as contaminated sediment from the channel side slopes and below the navigation channel. Phase 2 dredging also will result in some sediment remaining as dredging is never a perfectly precise process. Sediment will be loaded onto a barge. Typically, barges are sealed so that sediment cannot escape. Once loaded with sediment, the barge will be transported downstream to the Army Corps of Engineers Confined Disposal Facility, or CDF, which is located approximately three miles south of the river on the shore of Lake Erie. The CDF has been used since 1977 for the disposal of sediment from rivers throughout the region, including the Buffalo River, Niagara River, and Smokes Creek. The CDF was specifically designed to contain dredged sediment. The perimeter wall is designed to prevent dredged sediment and contaminated sediment from entering Lake Erie. Dredged sediment is pumped from the barge through a sediment transfer pipe and into the CDF. The sand base of the perimeter wall, which is over 100 feet wide, acts as a large sand filter that removes potential contaminants from the water entering Lake Erie. Water that flows through the sand filter or is discharged meets New York State water quality standards. We now return to an aerial view of the Buffalo River. Following the completion of sediment removal and capping of the city ship canal, project partners will implement habitat restoration projects. These projects will help restore areas that have been dredged and will further enhance the ecology of the Buffalo River. Restoration projects include enhancement of aquatic vegetation, bank stabilization, and expansion of habitat on the banks of the river. Following dredging and over time, natural processes will help revitalize the river bottom. Sediment movement is a natural process in rivers. 
as soil and sediment erodes from upstream rivers and streams that flow into the Buffalo River, sediment will enter the river and some of it will naturally settle onto the river bottom. These processes will create a new sediment surface that will improve the natural habitat in the river and will help restore the river's ecology, foster a healthier and safer recreational river for the public, and contribute to the economic and ecological revitalization of Buffalo.